welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch. I am the host of the only podcast dedicated to telling every single story of every single Medal of Honor recipient. And this is episode 110. I kind of like that it worked out that the end of the month is a nice even episode, like 110. I like even numbers. I can't be the only one that likes little nuggets like that. Uh, this is the last Korean War episode uh, for a little bit. We did two months of it, and we're moving on to something else. What that is, well, you'll have to go on over to Instagram and cast your vote. on in, in, uh, Instagram stories is usually where I, I put that up for a, for a day or so. Let me know which one you'd like to see. I'll have a poll. I'll do a little bracket. I usually choose four and then narrow it down to two, which gives me a four-month range, so... Head on over there. It's being brought to you tonight by Combat Flip Flops. Man, who are they? Other than being a sponsor for the last six months, which I am so grateful for, they are a veteran-owned apparel company, and they have a mission to create peaceful, forward-thinking opportunities for self-determined entrepreneurs affected by conflict. This means getting money over to the people that are going to help educate Afghan women and girls. It also means helping get money to the people who are going to remove unexploded landmines and other ordnance in Laos. And it also means supporting the members and the families of the special operations community. Because being a better human is what Combat Flip Flops is doing by flipping the view on how wars are won. Business, not bullets. And now, a tale of honor. Lauren was born on the 27th of July, 1923, in the Dales, Oregon, and had enlisted in the U.S. Army the week after the attack on Pearl Harbor. During World War II, Lauren had deployed to North Africa and Europe, but it was his actions on the 4th and 5th of September, 1950, that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Sergeant First Class Kaufman distinguished himself by conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty in action. On the night of 4 September, the company was in a defensive position on two adjoining hills. His platoon was occupying a strong point two miles away, protecting the battalion flank. Early on 5 September, the company was attacked by an enemy battalion and his platoon was ordered to reinforce the company. As his unit moved along a ridge, it encountered a hostile encircling force. Sergeant First Class Kaufman, running forward, bayoneted the lead scout and engaged a column in a rifle and grenade assault. His quick, vicious attack so surprised the enemy that they retreated in confusion. When his platoon joined the company, he discovered that the enemy had taken commanding ground and pinned the company down in a draw. Without hesitation, Sergeant First Class Kaufman charged the enemy lines, firing his rifle and throwing grenades. During the action, he bayoneted two enemy and seizing an unmanned machine gun delivered deadly fire on the defenders. Following this encounter, the company regrouped and resumed the attack. Leading the assault, he reached the ridge, destroyed a hostile machine gun position, and routed the remaining enemy. Pursuing the hostile troops, he bayoneted two more and then rushed a mortar position shooting the gunners. Remnants of the enemy fled to a village, and Sergeant First Class Kaufman led a patrol into the town, dispersed them, and burned the buildings. The dauntless courage and resolute intrepid leadership of Sergeant First Class Kaufman were directly responsible for the success of his company in regaining its positions, reflected distinct credit upon himself, and upholding the esteemed traditions of the military service. Lauren R. Kaufman was killed in action five months later, and is buried in the Willamette National Cemetery in Portland, Oregon, Section H, 3622N. And that was A Tale of Honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. If you like this podcast, please be sure to leave a nice review, a good rating, and tell a friend. You can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening.